Now, being accepted is something that we humans constantly want. So we will do things just to fit in. I mean, if you're in a group of smart people, you will all of a sudden try to act smart. But it will reach a point where your IQ even tells you, I boss, stuck in stress, come out with joy, And plus, it's hard. It's very hard to change your IQ. So you just accept that you are dumb, and you're the dumb one in the group. And the only time that you actually be asked any question is when someone wants to know what time it is. Because you are the only one with a watch like this. <laughs> now, our Kenyan politicians, AKA those guys we call our leaders because they lead us not to the land of Canaan, but they deliver us to debt. <laughs> but our Kenyan politicians are also in a constant cycle of trying to fit in, especially after the handshake between president, the president and Raila Odinga. Now, politicians who had hardline stance are confused like a girl who wants to go back to her ex. <laughs> now, in this confusion there, that is going on, there is a man known as Moses Wetangula, AKA the guy whose name rhymes with Lungula. Well, Moses Wetangula has been lungula out of his position as minority leader within the Senate. Just look. It was first tough warning from Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula on his side, stripping off of the position of leader of minority in the Senate. And nobody has a right, Mr. Speaker, to play games behind my back. Nobody. Let them be frontal and we will fight mundo mundo. Anybody wants a divorce, it will be noisy, it will be messy, it will be unhelpful, and it will have casualties. Less than two weeks later, the move by ODM has come to pass. NASA co-principal and Bungoma Senator Moses Wetangula have been stripped off of his Senate minority leadership position in a move that threatens to escalate the looming rift in the NASA coalition. The NASA senators moved on with their plan to oust Wetangula despite calls and assurances from Raila Odinga, Kanon Musioka and Musale Mudavadi that will not lose his post. The lawmakers accused Wetangula of being repellent leader and not being a team player. Man, it's really sad when you haven't when you aren't accepted in a clique that you are among the big four. Uh, you are the big dog, constantly out there in political campaigns yelling, NASA how? And now you realize all this time, you are the one being nasa But that's what happens in cliques. You know, it's, it starts off all rosy, you all bond together, like something like, oh my God, you hate her too? No way, this is something special. We should totally be BFFs. In fact, BFFs. And just like that, the friendship is born, and y'all start bonding to the extent that you guys even form a coalition, which is basically like a friendship uh, bracelet. Because politicians, you know, are like, oh my God, we should totally be friends for life. And I love your bracelet. No, I love yours more. Yeah, the love is strong. But then trouble hits the group, and now everyone has a crush on the same thing, power. So... The little things begin, so the little fights begin to happen. I had a crush on power first, so he is mine. No, he isn't. He didn't reply to your texts. He replied my text with a kissing emoji, and I know he blew tick to you because I looked through your texts. Mm. And just like that, the click starts being pulled apart because everyone has a crush on power. Then, of course, it has to be the hottest girl in the group who decides to do the unthinkable move, the move that can break most groups permanently. Meeting the girl that you girls bonded in hate over in the beginning. <gasps> she met her without telling us? How could she? This is totally the end of us. This is betrayal. <laughs> now, usually, after that, most groups end and girls become permanent rivals. But no, not this group. The hottest girl in the group comes back to say things like, Oh my gosh, guys, let me tell you. I know we had issues, but look at the dirt I now have on our arc rival. And then they start bonding all over again. But there is always one girl in the clique who still holds a little grudge. So this girl is the one who is slowly stripped of some privileges, like being the minority whip within the Senate. And that's right. They're literally, that really sums up what goes on in NASA, where Tangula is basically being Lungulad. <laughs>